going in three, going in two, going in one, and action. Within the Guy Ritchie world, you can really push it as far as you want. It's reality with a 7% twist. And he loves the toffs and he loves the streetwise people. Whatever you think you've planned for the scene, we're going in a whole other area. You can balance the comedy and the darkness in a way that no one else can. It was a very complicated evolution, British aristocracy. There's been a highly evolved and developed subculture. It's so integrated in us as a society to have this class system. Pleasure. Huge family generational seats, you know, dukedom passed down for hundreds of years. His Grace, the Duke of Halstead. If we're trying to put across this idea of, of the aristocracy, there are certain things you kind of can't cut corners on. The locations are going to do a huge amount of that work for you. The first job, really, was to pick the home, Halstead Manor. So we looked at a number of fantastic country houses that would let film crews in, and um, we chose Badminton House. Her family still lives here, and we're going into their home. Yeah, people still live there. We would still have the Dukes upstairs, and the house staff was telling us that the Duke was about to come through. That was weird. So there are tired bits, and there are cracks, but the paintings and the majesty is still there. We're very privileged to be allowed to film in them. Hey, Mark. Sorry, Mark. Okay. From the top, pal. And action. Dodger, your grace. Thank you, Geoffrey. That's very kind. One of the strengths of the gentlemen will be the characters, because they are different. Susie Glass has the best style on the show, as far as I'm concerned. It's the clothes you wear, it's the way you wear them, and it's the absolute arrogance that you bring with that. The brief really was just to give her an absolutely fantastic, powerful wardrobe. She kind of adapts to the different environments that she's in, almost like she plays dress up for whatever the occasion calls for. There are so many different characters. Every fitting is a completely new challenge. Every fitting is a completely new story. I had no initial conversations with Guy about the character. The first time I met him, I was dressed up in a full-length chicken suit and was taken to his trailer and uh, someone knocked on the door, he opened it. I decided to try and be funny, because I was like, Guy Ritchie's kind of a funny guy, so I was like, does anyone order a massive cock? Who's the chicken now? Fuck off! This is Freddy's chicken suit. So we made this by hand from scratch. Obviously went for the cockerel rather than a chicken in order to have more color. The whole movement through the wind, it just, it just looks absolutely beautiful. It added to the drama and ridiculousness of the whole situation. And scenes like that where you're able to push the envelope into a darker space while maintaining uh, comedy is obviously what Guy does really well. Take a breather, son. There's been a, a hole in my soul, the shape of Vinnie Jones for the last 20 years, has now been filled. We haven't worked together for a, for a long time, and then uh, just got a random text from him saying, got something for you. That was it. Movie, movie. I don't think I can do that. In the weed game, it's a relatively inefficient uh, way of making money. That said, if you own the lane, there's a lot of money. There's a man called the Dope Man, OK? And he's this fantastic fountain of knowledge in terms of the way that dope farms are put together. We got fake marijuana, silk leaves, 3D printed. It's all hydroponic. The lighting is really important. There's a lot of research goes into it. Better get rolling then. Maintaining Guy's tone throughout has been a process because it is so specific. There's a theme that goes throughout that you want to have the capability to hunt in the jungle but sleep in the zoo. It's trying to refine the best of those two worlds. And I think the amazing thing about what Guy does, but what about this entire crime genre allows you as a director, is that it uses all the tools of filmmaking. And I think that's what's great about the show. It's got flashbacks. 
it's slow motion, it's non-linear editing, text coming up on screen. Are we good? We put the camera inside bottles, we put the camera on the side of guns, we put the camera on everything. If you've got to try and summarise the ambition of the show is to galvanise curiosity for the purpose of refining <laughs> the disparate personalities that reside within all of us.